wasanii kwanza hawajui value yao alafu hawajui kujipanga na their finances Nao, tukikuja kwa swala la stare saizi kila mtu anataka kuwa famous especially kwa wasanii wanaume uh, the reason mtu anataka kuwa famous ni atengeneze pesa za haraka alafu enjoy na wanawake they don't invest yeah pombe na nini na nini itakuwa ni excuse ya watu kutrola kina wakadinali ni kwa sababu tu wewe haujui uh, dynamics za industry so utaongea tu chochote yeah people should grow up na uliona kwamba kibali win award kule south africa award ya nini ah wewe na wewe na venye na juna kwangu kijuzi vitu juu kibali win award kwanza kibe ni nani mbona tunamuongelea unajua mimi wakati mtu inafika kiwango umeanza kudunisha wanawake you are sexualizing women that's where we draw the line so naacha kukujua naacha kukutambua na naacha kukufuatilia uwezi niambia maisha yako yataishi based on kutukana watu kudhalilisha wanawake alafu kuna tu wajinga fulani mahali wakakaa mahali wakaamua kupea award kwa hivyo unapewa award ya kutukana wanawake yeye na waandalizi wa hiyo award ni wajinga wa group moja. Kwa hivyo hicho ni kiwango cha ujinga wa kiwango ya flyover tuseme. So basi unaweza kuwa ukiwaunga niliona juzi uh, women from Meru mm-hmm. walikuwa wameenda maandamano wakisema wan, wanaume wa kutoka kule Meru mm-hmm. wanapenda tu kuwatumia wakiwakula kwa sababu mm-hmm. ya vile wanataka ku impeach eh, governor wa Meru. So una support wanawake ama vipi? Ah uh, inategemea Unajua mtu ukijiweka na heshima zako na sisi pia tutakuheshimu. Unapata? Lakini uki, ukikuja ukijionyesha na sisi kuwa unapatikana tu kiraisi, wanaume wako pale kukutumia na, ku, na kusonga mbele. Lakini pia haimaanishi ukishatumika sasa tukuongee tuku vibaya vile ambavyo unaona Kibe anafanya huku nje anatukana wanawake right left and center. Kwa hivyo angekuwa ni Kenya, ako hapa Kenya. Trust you miss dhani kama kuna Hai mangetoa neno kuhusiana na wanawake ama kutukana mtu yote kwa mtandao kwa sababu angeendewa mahali yuko. Anaongea hivi vyote kwa sababu yuko huko. Acha kuji huko tuona kikunja mkia. Basi narudi na kuja uh, December. And I'm giving you my word. Acha kuje tuone kama haya ambaye anafanya akiwa kule atayafanya hapa. Alafu wewe kama nani? Nitakukuliza kwa sababu imekuwa ni kama trend hivi mm-hmm. msanii anakuwa famous ana ana trend for some time mm. and then after after, after a few years tunakuja kupata the same same msanii mm. anakuja huko kwenye mtandao mm. kuomba usaidizi na imetokea sana kwa different artists mbona uh, ni two things kwanza kuwa ni wasanii huwa hawajui value yao kama wasanii <coughs> kitu cha pili ni starehe uh, nikiongea kwenye value unajua it takes long kujitengeneza kama a brand. Nao ukishajitengeneza kama a brand kuna watu watataka kukutumia. E, kampuni corporates mbalimbali mbali, zitataka kukutumia. Lakini sasa kama wewe msanii lazima ukue na red card. Si kila una, okay sometimes unaambi wangu afadhali ndogo nyingi kuliko moja kubwa lakini pia unaangalia. Wewe ni msanii umejitenge, umechukua miaka kama tatu kujitengeneza alafu mtu ametokea hapa anataka kumfanyia kazi kwa miezi sita na mshahara wa 2020 kwa kila mwisho wa mwezi. Usisahau uwe kama msanii behind your brand kuna watu wengi ambao wamekutengeneza. Kwa hivyo hii pesa yenyewe unapewa ukigawa na hawa watu utabaki na nini? We mwenyewe pia unabaki hauna kitu. Kwa hivyo wasanii kwanza hawajui value yao, alafu hawajui kujipanga na their finances. Nao tukikuja kwa swala la stare saizi kila mtu anataka kuwa famous especially kwa wasanii wanaume uh, the reason mtu anataka kuwa famous ni atengeneze pesa za haraka alafu enjoy na wanawake they don't invest yeah ukiangalia w- kama nani wasanii wako wengi kama nani tupe uda <laughs> nitataja majina lakini tunaenda polepole pole kwanza utakuta mtu amejitengenezea kwa sababu kama saizi msanii mwanaume haujajulikana the moment utajulikana umetrend uh, siku mbili siku tatu kila inbox yako itakuwa inafurika wanawake wa kila aina wengi watajifanya wanataka kufanya kazi na wewe 
wengi wanataka wakuje tu waenjoy kile kidogo uko nacho lakini sasa msanii anapoona ile inambeba anajisahau ametoka wapi ile miaka alitumia kutengeneza brand anaangalia tu hapa they don't think beyond their noses wanafikiria tu hapa haangali kesho alafu kitu moja watu wamesahau in Kenya you only trend for a month a uh, corpus zitakutumia kwa huo mwezi ambao uko juu mwingine akitokea tunakuteremsha tunapandisha huo mwingine femia kenya is there for a life span yake ni 30 days we are done with you we move on to another person but sasa ikiwa mtu utajipanga vizuri hizi pesa zitaendelea kukuja na zitaendelea kukua angalia mtu kama njugushi alijitengeneza na brand yake bado iko anaendelea kupiga endorsements So ukijitenge alafu ako na support system mzuri ya kutosha. Ukiangalia nyuma bibi yake yako pale the uh, nini familia kina mkurugenzi wamemshikilia. If you have that support system kama msanii utasimama. Lakini ukiendekeza stare uh, tuseme tu Uma Lion inasumbua wasanii. Mm. Na umeongea kuhusu red card. So red hebu tuambie red card yako. Ami mtu akitaka red card red card yangu anitafute tu namba yangu ya simu wanayo. Ah uwezi sema uwezi tuambie hapa. Hiyo huwa ni siri yangu na mtu ambaye nafanya naye kazi. Mm. Alafu Ruto anasema watu wanasema kwamba Ruto amekuwa siku hizi amekuwa yeye ni tourist. Mm. <laughs> ah, mambo ya unajua unaambiwa wagwa nabii hakubaliki kwao. Kwa hivyo ameamua acha aenda akubalike huko nje. Kitu kinanishangaza na serikali ya hasla ndio kuna watu wanawatetea. Lakini nirudi nyuma kidogo ukiangalia wakati kamwana uhuru akiwa kama alikuwa anatoka na bibi yake wanaenda kule nje uhuru ndiye alikuwa anaenda anaomba loan bibi yake naye alikuwa anaenda anashughulikia masuala tofauti unaona alileta ile beyond zero ya kusaidia wanawake and it did very well tofauti saa hii na zakayo anapotoka na bibi yake kwenda Bibi yake arudishi chochote anatuletea mtu akuja kutufanyia crusade kuitisha sadaka kwetu kurudisha kule. Sasa nashangaa hii nchi itaongozwa kikanisa ama inafaa iongozwe kiuchumi na kidemokrasia ambavyo inatakikana. So I think it's high time tutangaze saa hizi kuwa state house ni vacant. Uh, mtu yote anaweza kairent sasa. Then cause saa hizi JKA end imekuwa ndio the new state house the guy ako kiguna njia every other time na bado one year down the line hatuoni matunda but pia siwezi laumu sana upande wa serikali juu we were warned na yeye pia alituambia nilikuwa nimewawon so kama tulikuwa tumewoniwa na akatuambia bottom up that meant it clearly that kila kitu yenye iko chini itatolewa ipandishwe juu mafuta ilikuwa hapa one, one something imetolewa imefika 200 mnalia ni si alisema vizuri bottom up ametufikisha up why are we crying so tupambane tu na hali yetu saizi na uchumi vile iko eh lakini jamani punguza safari za nje ameenda sana na hatuoni matokeo hata kama ni wewe bibi yako anatoka kila time anaenda pia utalazimu utakuwa na wasiwasi mm. alafu chipukizi alikulipa pesa zako ah swali nzuri sana <laughs> chipukizi bado na mdai na naona anaendelea tu kufanya show anaendelea kuenjoy maisha na kona deni yangu chipkizi i'm coming for you na siwende huko kwa show yake basi kama ni kweli uende uende live ah uh, unajua una muogopa ah siwezi muogopa lakini unajua kwa kila show kuna utaratibu wake endapo atanialika basi mimi niko tayari kwenda na atuendi kukaa chini ku negotiate naenda kuongea nilipe mm simple and clear alafu tunasema bado tunakolonizewa bobi ya vile king ni king charles king charles eh, king, king charles wa tatu na bibi yake kamila eh ni ukweli uh, ina ukwe, na si ati ina ukweli fulani ina ukweli kabisa uh, we are being colonized uh, mentally economic, economically na pia socially kwa sababu si tulifikiria wale mabeberu wakitoka tunajipatia uhuru wetu kama wa Afrika wa Kenya na tujiendeleze but sad thing ni kuwa Uh, mzungu alitoka tukabaki na mzungu mweusi. Uh, history iko very clear. Wakati hii watu wamepigania uhuru wa nchi, tumepata kila ambacho tulikuwa tunapigania. Watu walianza kunyang'anya mashamba, wale wanyalijiona wako kwenye power, wakaanza kuchukua mashamba za watu. Sasa saizi Kenya tumebaki kama bado we are being colonized in a way that 
bado tunategemea mataifa